the seventh episode of Mustang Media. We're your hosts. I'm Kathleen Caverini. And I'm Jesse Myers. Let's get to some stories. People generally think of Woodshop as making shelves and cutting boards. But this year for Wood 2's mass production project, they thought a little bit outside of the box. I got the inside story on their mass production project. Why is Mr. James playing with a cornhole board? Well, it was a class mass production project. I asked Mr. James about that project. For the Wood 2 course, which comes after the Wood 1 course, uh, what the students do is halfway through the year they do a mass production project. That means that everyone has to work together on one common goal. And this year, the goal was cornhole. What they had to do was they had to find out how many resources, materials, plans they needed to have. And then with that, we executed a plan to have them build them. So the build took a few weeks. Most of it turned out to be a lot of painting, um, but what they were able to come out with was every student has two cornhole boards and every student will have eight bags to use for the cornhole. Um, Mr. Melhorn suggested about when we do tailgates for the football games, it'd be kind of nice to have some cornhole boards with Southwestern logos on them. So coming to the wood shop, we tried to oblige, but the time frame didn't work out that semester. We're working on cornhole boards, like redneck horseshoes. It's a tailgating game and like, I guess, barbecue game. It's our uh, mass production project. My team was a uh, green team, and we had a red team as well and a black team. So we all worked on, uh, took different roles and worked on different jobs, getting it all done. And now uh, we're each taking our own board and customizing, you know, different kind of paint and whatnot. And we all had to make uh, bags. Yeah. To be able to play. Now we're yeah. sewing. We're at the fun part of the unit. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, thought it, it's pretty fun. I thought it was a good yeah. mass production project. I mean, it gave yeah. everybody a chance to take a role in each job. Mm -hmm. And just everyone working on the same thing, just mm -hmm. the same goal. Keep on practicing, Mr. James. You'll make it someday. For Mustang Media, I'm Jesse Myers. School is all about learning. The Digital Media 2 students went to Apple Jeep dealership. Here's Ty with the story. <laughs> On Monday, April 12th, our Southwestern Digital Media teacher, Mr. Murdell, took his Digital Media 2 class on a field trip to Apple Chrysler dealership. The class got hands-on experience on real-life photography job situations, from taking photos of the business, building, and employees. I got an interview with one of the students to ask what they thought about their experience. It was very good. We got to do a lot of different pictures and a lot of different like settings and everything. But the manager ended up wanting us to take pictures in the break room. So we split up. Some people did that and then some people went out and took pictures of like the building and what was around the apple. I also asked Mr. Murdell on how he thought the experience went for his students. Uh, we took advantage of this opportunity to give some of our students some real world experience. Uh, taking pictures that were going to be used uh, professionally. Uh, when we got there, we were throwing a little bit of a curveball because uh, what we had planned on doing was not what uh, the dealership wanted us to do. Uh, so the kids had to adapt, adjust to take the photographs that were needed. Uh, they did a great job. Uh, they were very professional. Uh, they took some pretty awesome pictures, in my opinion, and uh, it was good for the school, good for the dealership. Uh, and great experience for the kids. I'm Tiny Eater, reporting from Mustang Media. On April 10th, the designers and models of Southwestern put on a fashion show. Megan Dunnick went to the event and got some coverage of it. Let's go to Megan for a story. On April 10th, the Southwestern FBLA held a fashion show. I got to talk to the participants to find out more about it. This evening's fashion show is um, sponsored by the FBLA and it incorporates a number of different community programs. Some of the students have made their dresses, um, some of the students have designed dresses, and then someone else has made them. There's also a few dresses from the Dresses of Dreams, and some of the students went to the community aid store, um, coordinated costumes, and then modeling them also. 
I talked to the designers to find out what went into their fashions. I just wanted to look really nice. And this blue shirt goes like really well with everything. Uh, I love Star Trek and I actually made this um, uh, in honor of the death of the man who played Spock because Spock was my favorite character in Star Trek. You, you put so much work into finding the right outfits and all the accessories and getting your face all done up and it's so nice and you're just like so excited and you look so on point and so great, so much fun. Um, it took me like about a month to sew the dress and um, that's about as long as it took and then I made the necklace too which took only a day. For some, their interest in fashion is going beyond the school. I've always wanted to be a model because I watch um, America's Next Time Model. Like that's what I want to do. Like I already studied like program my application and all that. This has been Megan Dunnick reporting for Mustang Media. This past week I covered Southwestern's Take a Stand Week. Let's take a look. This past week, Southwestern High School had their Take a Stand Week, showing support for the LGBTQ community and more. Monday through Thursday, students were able to sign the Take a Stand banner with things they won't stand for. Wednesday was Hat Day to shade out the hate. Thursday was Rainbow Day, wear colorful clothes. And Friday was Day of Silence. Also throughout the week, every day there were speakers that students could listen to on many different subjects. Hi, I'm Megan Dunnick and I'm a member of the Southwest Gay Straight Alliance. Um, we do Take a Stand Week to make sure that all students of the LGBTQA and um, any gender identity, all ethnicities, all religions, make sure that they all feel welcome and accepted here. Keep supporting the LGBTQA community, Southwestern. This has been Catherine Cabrini reporting from Mustang Media. Until next time. Every year, a teacher is selected here at the high school for Teacher of the Year. We go to Shannon Holt for coverage of the story. This past month, the students of Southwestern High School were asked to vote for the recipient of the Excellence in Our Education Award. I stopped by Ms. Black and asked for an explanation of what this award is. The Teacher of the Year program is a district-wide program that strives to recognize one teacher from each level as the award recipient. The Excellence in Education Award is the high school version of the Teacher of the Year program. Each year we select finalists that we feel really represent all the excellence that occurs at the high school every day. From these finalists, we interview and select the actual recipient of the award. This year, the interview committee went through the process with Mr. Nate James from the Technology Education Department, Mr. Jeff Murdell, also from Technology Ed, Ms. Tammy Fritz from the Learning Support Department, and then Mrs. Jill Lennick from the English Department. After the interview process, we were able to select Mrs. Jill Lennick as our recipient for the 2014-2015 Excellence in Education Award. I started teaching a little bit later than a lot of people, uh, and it came time for me to look for a new career, and I love to read and write, and I have a love of students your age, and I have never looked back. I can't imagine doing anything else at this point. Being named Teacher of the Year is incredibly humbling, and there are so many great things that I see and hear about every day, and to be chosen as representative of that is just such an honor. I work with amazing teachers and amazing students, and I am incredibly fortunate. The District-Wide Teacher of the Year program strives to find teachers that we can recognize for their time, effort, dedication, and sense of caring about children. As a committee, we feel that we have definitely done this this year. This has been Shannon Holt, reporting for Mustang Media. That's all from Mustang Media. We're your hosts. I'm Catherine Cavarini. And I'm Jesse Myers. You stay classy, Southwestern.